Hey, W here. Welcome to the apartment workshop. Uh, this, if all goes well, fingers crossed, this uh, would probably be one of those short-ish videos. Uh, I have a small piece of electronics in front of me. Uh, I don't do a lot. I may have mentioned this before. I don't do a lot of electronics on this channel because I'm not good at it, but I'm trying to get better. Uh, and this one is, is simple. Uh, it's a small project. And, and it's something that I already done. It's this is actually sort of a repair slash upgrade. I may have mentioned this uh, in another video, uh, something to do with 3D printing that um, I have uh, hooked up my 3D printer to a Pi and running Octoprint. Actually, I'm running Simply Print. Um, and the thing is, when you hook up uh, a 3D printer, at least when you do what I did. Uh, you hook up uh, the 3D printer through USB. Well, USB is powered. So when you switch off the power to the 3D printer, uh, the mains power is off, but there's power coming through the uh, the USB uh, connection, which keeps on the, uh, the, the, the screen and the, uh, some other things, the processor. It basically, it probably keeps on most things. Uh, the, the motors don't work and the heaters don't work. But the computer part of the uh, of the three D printer stays on, and that's uh, kind of silly for several reasons. The way you can ameliorate this issue is by ha having a USB power blocker, and even though you can buy those things, it's not actually a standard. There are various versions of them out there, but not any standard products. So I uh, went ahead and thought, well, that seems like something I should be able to make myself. And I did, and it's on the table in front of me. Uh, this is basically just, uh, let's see if I can get the camera to focus on this. All this is, is a male and female USB connector, uh, and, and then some wires connecting them. Uh, but And it works, it actually works. This transmits the signal, but no power. So it actually worked and it's been sitting connecting my or it's been sitting in the connection the USB connection for a while but it stopped working because as you can see there can you see that yeah the middle wire the green one there has disconnected and that's probably because it had no casing it just sort of hung around like this with a with a USB cable coming out of either end of it and and that's not very tenable so the thing that I'm doing today is fixing this and then uh, of the 3D printer over there, very appropriately, uh, I will get a casing for it that I printed and I haven't tested on anything to it. Uh, I haven't even cleaned off the flash or anything. So I'm going to bring that over once this is soldered back together. Hopefully a simple operation. I'll bring the, the casing that I printed and fit this inside and see if we can make something that is a little bit more sturdy than just uh, a few components hanging out in, in open air. So, uh, and I was actually, I was thinking when I looked at this, I was like, okay, well, I'll just redo the whole thing. But the other solders are perfectly fine. So I'm thinking there's really no, no reason to redo the whole thing. And the question is, if I can redo just the green one, just the one that broke off here, uh, or if I have to do more than that. So I'm going to try and, and do, as gonna do as little as I can get away with, see if that's possible. And of course, a major challenge of doing something like that is uh, I'm going to have to physically fiddle with it, and that can cause damage to other parts. Like, for instance, uh, I now have to get this, uh, this heat shrink off. Uh, and that takes a little bit of force, and maybe I'll ruin something. I hope I won't, but it's that kind of risks when I'm trying to just fix that one thing. There is an, a non-zero risk of breaking something else. Oh, 
Well, so far so good. Nothing seems to be broken. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to try and see if I can move this camera a little bit closer. Because I don't know if you can see anything. How's that? Is that better? Can you see better now? I hope so. Uh, I still don't, even, even with a better view, I'm not sure that you can tell. But what happened is that actually there is a, 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 a pin, a connector on the, uh, uh, this is the male uh, USB plug. There's a pin for each of these, which obviously is where I've soldered the, the wires onto. But this pin actually broke. So what I'm going to have to do is solder this wire, the green wire, onto this little flat down here. That's the job. And if I can do just that without doing anything else, this will be fixed and it'll be working. This, it, it does mean that, uh, you saw that I just took off a little bit of heat shrink. There's heat shrink on all these connections. I can't put heat shrink on that connection. If I get this down on the flat there, there's, not, there's nowhere to put heat, heat shrink, but I'm pretty sure that'll be okay. Uh, that's the heat shrink is ma mainly a precaution, I guess. And I'm, it feels like it feels like nothing else is broken, broken or breaking. So I'm gonna try and see if I can very gently muscle this green wire down on that flat where I want to solder it on. It has to sort of stay there because I can't hold on to it and solder it at the same time, obviously. Actually, I think I should just uh, I should just clean up this uh, this solder a little bit. Or this this uh, soldered wire is uh, it's a little messy. I guess the the pin, the broken off pin is in there in the solder somewhere. guessing that's the broken off pin right there which I now which I have now removed and then I'm gonna have to try and force this down a little but without using too much force <laughs> that's actually perfect almost perfect the green the the stripped part of the green wire is now resting on that little flat where it's supposed to go on. So maybe now, I will be able to solder that. see if I can do that with my old shaky hands here it's not oh wait a minute I'm just gonna try to uh, I think I'll try to support the uh, I think I'll try to support the, the other end of this arrangement as well The audience, I think we did it. Let's just get this off of here. As best as I can tell, that solder is now okay. If this doesn't work now, it's very simple connections. This wire connected to, or this point connected to that point with a wire. It's very simple. So if it doesn't work now, I'm not actually sure what to do about it. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna for forge ahead. And as I teased, just, earlier uh, in this video I had I just I'm taking this off the the 3d printer fresh off the 3d printer well fresh off it was it printed yesterday uh, but I haven't done anything as you can see and I haven't actually tested this this is the second version I did a first version which had a few minor issues uh, that have been corrected uh, so this should be the final version that uh, if you know anything about 3d printing and constructing parts like this 
you'll know that uh, assuming that just the second version is already fine, that's uh, that's a little bit on the bold side, but I'm 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 hoping I'm hopeful. So let's just get the the brim off, the flash off there. This is my preferred way of doing that. Just basically filing the using a regular file like this, and then just sort of pushing the flash backwards from the edge. I find that's an easy way to get a pretty clean. Uh, brim removal. So first off, see if these two fit together. It's a, just a little casing here. And that's very, that's very nice. I'm actually, you know what? That's a, that's a nice, it's almost a little click. Uh, I did this, I made this so that it can be glued together. I'm not uh, assuming that I will want or need to take it apart a lot so if i ever had to prying it open and printing a new one would be okay but since since i'm not going to be it's just going to be sitting there i mean this assembly is positive enough that i don't actually need to glue it i don't think so so the only question now is if my parts that i've done if they fit so let's find out that goes in there, and that goes in there. Ah, oh, will you look at that? Look at that. And it's like I said, it's, I mean, it's not falling apart on its own. And for just something that's just sitting there with a cable on either end and not moving, <laughs> that's lovely that's fine i made it you can see it's kind of a little bit bulky and the reason i did that is when the wires are in there i i wasn't sure exactly how i'd be able to to run those wires or change or if i wanted to change them uh, so i made a little bit of space so that i wouldn't be squishing the wires in there and i'm actually happy i did that this is this is lovely uh, let's just let's hook up some cables just to see what it looks like. Uh, this is the connection. This is, goes into the Pi, and of course the black one goes into the and the black one goes into the printer. And so this is the connection. This is where the the thing goes. So this yellow block. Oops. Of course I did that. <laughs> so the yellow block is a block that blocks the power. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. It feels fine. Uh, I think I'm just going to bring you guys with me over to the 3D printer and, and try hooking it up, see if it works. Uh, so here we are at the 3D printer, and there's the Pi, and there's the connector. And I'm just going to try and connect uh, this new setup, or the, put the old setup with the with the new and improved power blocker. So first the adapter, of course, which goes in, like I said, goes in this connection here. I'm actually going to, here comes the, this is the, the black cable that I'll show you, connect, which connects to the printer. I'm just gonna put that in place. So there's the USB, and now I have to connect them using the yellow power blocker block. And here it comes. Here we are. So obviously it goes in there and connects as USBs do. And I did it correctly for once. And now I'm going to test it. I'm going to find out if it works. So powering up the printer and then connect it. They are now connected. And the first thing, of course, that I can test is if the power blocking element works. So, like I said, the, if the if power travels, when pro power travels, this stay or stays on. Obviously, it shouldn't, and uh, I'm pretty confident confident that it won't. So, turning the power off is fine. That's what I was trying to achieve, and it seems to work just great. 
uh, all I have to find out now is if it connects to Octoprint and to simply print like it's supposed to. And there we go. Printer is ready. This is my uh, Simply Print uh, app, of course. And the printer is ready. I could start a print right now if I wanted to. So, uh, yeah. It's working. Thanks for joining me. And uh, this is not awkward, uh, an awkward angle at all. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>